你吃完了，我是不完了，我有我有你都可以抓起来。在那场自己来哟。哎，这钱你好稳耶！你好像钱没得起。花钱吧。花两块钱，花两块钱就知道了。在下方去了，你把刀埋过去的了。一个是吧？就一个。九块。再见。My name is Takeshi Asuda. I'm a British potter. But I was born in Japan, Tokyo, 1943. I was the second son of a photographer. But I was always interested in model making since I was a boy. So naturally, I thought I'm going to be an engineer. I didn't think of becoming a potter, but I just wanted to try. And uh, I came across this uh, pottery village called Mashiko. And when I saw it, uh, it really struck me. When I was in Mashiko, I realized you can be modern potter without being a sculptural artist. In fact, you can do anything. I'm still very excited about pottery. The clay is such a magical material. You're playing with mud. That sensation came first time I touched the clay in my life, which is when I was 19. I wanted to feel, I wanted to discover nature of porcelain, and I wanted to use that characteristic uh, into my work. And uh, after uh, near 40 years of stoneware, I thought, you know, so I can teach myself porcelain. And I was really struggling in many ways. And then uh, the opportunity to come to porcelain capital, Jin Te Chen, um, I thought probably I can learn something. Jin Te Chen is a truly remarkable place. Every sort of uh, ceramics uh, process was specialized. And uh, still most of those craftsmen exist here and operating. You can make your own ceramics without knowing anything. Every craftsman will work with your instruction. Because you don't need to be sculptor. You don't need to be modeler. You just give simple drawings and then sculptor. Sculptor as a craftsman will make into 3D. If you are satisfied with it, you hand over to mold maker like this. They will make you mold and then you take to press molder and they will make it and then you may decide to finish details yourself or ask somebody else and then take that into uh, grazer 
uh, will graze whatever graze you want, and you take to uh, kill people, their fire. So, in fact, without knowing anything about ceramics, you can make it here. Amazing place. Niha. He's one of uh, hundreds of porters. That his occupation to carry pots one workshop to the other. Yeah. Uh, because uh, in Jindechan, this is a amalgamation of uh, hundreds or thousands of small workshops. They all specialize in one uh, skills. So, in fact, pots have to move from one workshop to the other constantly. So those porters are very important occupation. And then there's a, a several different modes of uh, transport uh, because uh, each different stage of pots have to be carried different way. Wow. I think that mode of transport haven't changed for a thousand years. Most of the uh, workshops, artists, don't have their own kiln. Within five minutes walk, uh, several uh, firing specialists. They are firing every day, so you can ask to fire one piece or 500 pieces. Uh, but uh, I don't use it. Those firing there is standard firing. It suits everybody or I'll say, you have to adjust to that firing. It's uh, most of grades available is adjusted to that, but I modify my grades and uh, I fire different temperature and a different uh, reduction process. So I, I have my own kiln and I fire. These are very difficult things, and uh, always uh, waste ratio is very, very high uh, because it's, it's get cracks. Uh, but although those two pieces, I think probably we can save, still we need repairing. These usually need uh, repairing once or twice because it's, uh, the way I make it's very easy to get uh, cracks, and we have to fill those with uh, uh, grays and repair. So that's the, that's, uh, that's the life I live with. Uh, tomorrow, uh, these balls, I do uh, good inspection. But uh, it seems like those are, uh, we, have, uh, si we fired six, all seems good. So, and, uh, those tomorrow I inspect and then plate inside gold and some just leave as it is. I don't make my own clay, I buy. And, and amazing, I buy grays, which I never did in my life. You know, uh, but then particular grays I use, which is uh, uh, Sometimes called in chain or chimbai. Uh, 
this is a very early Jintijian glaze. First 300 years in Jintijian, Jintijian didn't use any other glaze but this. This is transparent glaze with a slight blue tint in it. And this blue tint comes from a uh, few uh, small percentage of uh, impure uh, iron in material in it. So naturally it makes this, this color. I like people to discover use of my pot. In Japan, function doesn't belong to the object. Object is object, and user makes function. You know, that's a very difficult notion in the West. That's the limitation we have uh, with uh, our attitude to functional wear. When that became clear, I realized, yeah, I can make cup and saucers, but uh, I can make anything. I don't need to name. I can just make things and then think how to use. In 1973, I came to England. I intended to become so-called studio potter. A few things I was clear. I am not going to use this thing called Japanese potter as my selling point. I use potter's wheel as a forming method. When I came to England, it was the tool you should avoid if you wanted to anybody except reach school. So all this argument going on, traditionalist and modernist, uh, and those arguments I felt was, uh, well, I shouldn't say this, but juvenile, I thought. It's not the limitation of will itself. Will is only tool. If mass production is not uh, aim, in fact, you can use will in all sorts of other way. So eventually, I started to use will quite an extraordinary way, or very inefficient in the time of mass production. Will was too still undiscovered. That's my experience. When I came to uh, Jintichen, I thought maybe that can be said in industrial technique as well. Of course, industrial technique is developed for mass production reason, even to be this a uh, fantastic tool called wheels. So maybe I can just reassess this industrial, basic industrial uh, technique from point of expression connected with the uh, technique. This is a very specialist scale. These are uh, thrown separately in one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, and then join. Any ceramic joining is a very difficult part, particularly porcelain, it is very tricky, and then particularly this side. So he's a trimmer. In fact, he, he already trimmed inside as well. China is an interesting place. In many ways, it humbles you. You know, it's a lifestyle itself, and also uh, thinking about art itself. It's easy to bulldoze or judging China from a Western point of view or our concept of 
art itself. But uh, that doesn't mean I understand China or I fully accept China's point of view. But uh, it it's gives you a lot of thought. Uh, this is a, a very, very difficult thing to make, you know, so, uh, porcelain in any size is uh, very difficult, but a uh, tile of this size without breaking it, it it's uh, just amazing. Those gi giant tiles are quite new things, you know, so they, they were not able to make uh, such big things until quite recently. Any public buildings or uh, hotels, uh, incredible demand for these. Ah, it's really, uh, I started with the sheer necessity. I was just run out of money. And uh, I felt it's very lucky I was invited, asked to do teaching. That was the uh, end of the 70s. Those days, the school had lots of teaching positions. And, uh, and uh, I wasn't really willing to teach because I have never had an experience to teach, let alone learning. I didn't go to university. I didn't know what, what teaching meant. But surprise was, like so many things, when I started to teach, how interesting teaching is. And you know, the teaching teaches you, and uh, t 
teaching made me aware of my activity in all sorts of ways. And I like to believe I, I became a very good teacher. But then, you know, teaching, teaching is just like uh, anything else. It demands full attention if you wanted to be a good teacher. And eventually I have to choose, I have to make up mind. And I, I decided, yeah, making poetry is my thing. When I'm making uh, balls, I realize I throw balls first, then I make feet to suit that ball. The game I play frequently is what happens if I just go the other way around? That means you make feet first and try to make a ball which suits that feet. If you reverse is normal process, if you lose control, so that really means something new might happen. And, uh, and often, my case happens, is a new, new form appears. You know, perfection or imperfection is a, is a point of view. You know, it's a, a, a definitely I am looking for perfection, uh, but uh, I'm not looking for technical perfection. I'm looking for perfection in the beauty. But then uh, I think probably uh, that's, that's the nature of uh, art, more or less. You know, art doesn't have one standard or sort of uh, art can see from all sorts of point of view. And that, that's the beauty of uh, art, I think. You know, so Olympic, those sports, they only have one point of view. You know, that's, and then that's why they can decide who is the winner, who isn't. Uh -huh, that's interesting. Saying that, what I'm doing now is, in fact, uh, I'm just uh, trying to correct technical fault. I'm trying to make a top line as a parallel to uh, uh, bottom. Uh, of course, that's to do with the visual e effect, but mainly that's because practical reason. When you apply liquid in here, it's nice to have a liquid parallel to top line, top edges. Panjajin Antique Market. But in fact, it's, uh, people call it uh, Panjajin Fake Antique Market. This is a very interesting area because it's uh, making history of making um, fake antique is indeed very, very old. Yeah, older than lots of uh, antiques itself, actually. Because of reproducing uh, old artifacts is a is a, a, a proper Chinese activity. Oh, 
You know those cables? Yeah. Half of these are uh, already redundant. But uh, you can't do anything about it because uh, you don't know which cable is supporting what. <laughs> Hey, this is a Mao Mao Zedong memorabilia. These these are soiled with years of use. But in fact, this is a paint applied on new parts. In fact, everybody knows knows it. And often, this uh, antiquation, which is uh, to make it look old, they do in front of their shop. This is an antique mud, and he applied this orca mud onto brand new pots. That makes it an instant antique. Porcelain clay doesn't behave like stoneware clay or adamware clay. So all sort of skill I learned and developed over these years, most of, most of them just didn't work. Maybe something like porcelain was the last thing I, uh, I should do. But then, you know, that's the period I begin to realize uh, one of those prejudices I, I had in me. You don't make art from precious material. Uh, preciousness is not art. Last thing I want to do is precious material like porcelain or uh, fancy grazes. It took a long time to realize that this preciousness is not nothing to do with uh, artistry. You can make rubbish with porcelain. You can make fantastic things with porcelain. You know, so, so, in a way, that challenge I really wanted to try. You know, so whether I can, I can do that or not. In a way. Living, uh, lived in England for 40 years as Japanese. I think probably certain freedom I gained in England. I think because I, I, I was a foreigner, so I was not trapped by uh, most of English issues. I think in, the, in, in Japan, uh, like China, you know, age 70, you're supposed to be more distinguished as a personality as well as a professional person, I suppose. You know, I'm, I'm getting sort of age. Uh, it's okay to do anything, you know, just. And, and yeah, uh, posting was there. And so I tried. Uh, 
probably I tried a little bit more uh, light-heartedly, but, but uh, nevertheless, it's difficult. That really means it's a very interesting challenge. I, I, you know, I have no regret. And uh, including coming to uh, China, you know, so I'm, I feel I'm very lucky. You know, I can, I can have this kind of very uh, selfish life. I was born in 1943, and uh, went to Mexico 1963, and went to England 1973, and this is 2013. I'm 70 this year. I don't believe it, though. I, I'm still very excited about poetry. Poetry is just... The clay is amazing. You know, I said that porcelain is very difficult, but uh, porcelain is one of the uh, beautiful things to touch. It's, this smoothness is, wow, so good. It's, I'm lucky. That's all age does to you. I'm very lucky. Thank you. 